Have you seen these tarot cards? You can tell it's an experienced reader with these. Look at this. Look at this. This is dirt. Look, can you see that dirt coming off? Look, it's, it's quite disgusting, actually. But that's oil just off people's hands, etc. And it builds up. So it builds up on your tarot cards and it's quite disgusting. It really is. And then it's time to either get a new pack or to clean them. Now, how I clean them, I just get my Dettol and I spray them. You've got to be really careful not to scrub them too hard. And I just run it down a few times. I try not to do too much. And if you just keep scrubbing very gently, very gently, that one's clean, that one's clean. You haven't to leave them wet for too long. So as soon as I've done this, I will pick them up and dry them immediately. Like that, and it's all off. And now they need drying immediately. When you've got your tarot cards and they're wearing out a little bit, and they're going at the corners and at the edges and they don't look very clean like you can see these here they're not very clean at all these are brand new cards you can see the difference around the edges i did know a man who used to scrape the cards with a knife on the edge disgusting so what you do is you get your old cards and i'd have all 78 to do this with but you get your old cards and then you get your brand new pack and to initiate them and to get the vibes from the old pack you simply get the exact card, so that's the Fool, brand new Fool on top, brand new Magician on top, brand new High Priestess on top. And you simply do that all the way through with your 78 cards. I would leave them about two hours. Obviously, don't let children, etc. play with them. I teach my students this at Golden Light Psychic Academy. If you'd like to learn tarot, please see the link in the description box. We have tarot courses, psychic courses, and even a tarot meditation where you can walk into your cards.